Hey, um, I just wanted to pop on and go live for a couple minutes tonight before I go to bed. I work tomorrow super early. <clears throat> so I just wanted to come on. And I'm really excited to show what I've been up to and what I've been doing. And yeah, so that's what I wanted to come on and share with you guys tonight. Um... I wanted to show this folio that I made, which I'm super proud of and I love. Hi, Linda. And, um, sorry, crafter hands, you know, they're always dirty. <laughs> Hi, Deanna. I hope you all are having a lovely Wednesday evening. Um, I know my Wednesday is going good. Um, work today and work tomorrow, but my schedule's about to change, so I'm excited about that. Oh, it's freezing. Mm. I'm sorry, Deanna. Hi, Tori. How are you, hun? It's, I wish I could show you the pictures. Yes, I am... I'm warm and safe. Yes, me too. Hope you all are warm and safe. I know there's a lot of bad weather going on out there. Hi, Susan. Um, actually, it reached 50 degrees here today, so it was crazy. It's been super cold. Hi, Miss Leafa. Um, so I wanted to share a couple more things that I made. And... Um, I've just been having fun crafting when I can and um, doing things when I can. And yeah, it's been, you know, fun. Um, so I made, I have, you know, these little pouches that I've been making with little um, books and mini albums in them. Oh, let me fix my lighting. For a second here so you can actually see. Hopefully. I don't know. Um, wow. Yeah. It was 50 here when it got the warmest, I believe. And, yeah, it was nice. It was really nice to be that warm. But this morning it was like 23 degrees. It was so cold. But... So the folio I'll show you first. So um, it's wrapped up like this with, you know, I have this um, crochet trim on here. And so that goes over there. And then it has this. And this is actually a blank junk journal. And then the folio... Um, that I made holds everything. It was supposed to hold the journal too, but it didn't fit in here because I, of course, went too big, um, like always. But I made this folio in, um, it's kind of like, uh, I've seen a lot of them online. I was inspired by Nick the Booksmith. She made a folio. Um, I saw pictures of Angie Craigwicks and that was like stunning. Um, and I've been looking at folios and they've just been super interesting to me. And I wanted to make one that could actually hold a journal in it, a small blank journal, and then also hold ephemera inside it and be like, kind of like a kit. Um, but yeah, my... <laughs> my little tiny, supposedly tiny, thin journal ended up, um, not fitting in, the, well, it fits in here, but it just, it doesn't, um, with all the ephemera in here, it doesn't close, so I just tied it all up together, so that's what it looks like when it comes together, and then, so, I'll show you the inside of the folio first, but I had so much fun making this, so, how it opens up, and again, I just used coffee-dyed 
um, book paper on it. Or actually, I think this is like, yeah, it's dictionary paper from my old dictionary. And so it opens up like this. Okay. And so this is the top flap. And then this is the bottom flap. And then down here has a pocket that you can see has the edge where it's can, you know, get bigger and hold more stuff. So down here and behind this right here, there's a little pocket. And so I just put this little postcard in here just to show you that there is a little pocket behind that. And then if you open this up, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. And it's just, this is supposed to hold um, ephemera to make a junk journal with. So it just has like pieces of paper. Everything's already, you know, coffee dyed and stained for you. Um, and inked up. Um, this is scrapbooking paper. Um, you know, embellishments cut out of a scrapbooking uh, bundle. And then this is just a piece of paper. And it's just, you know, stuff that you would put in a junk journal. And then, so there's all that little stuff. And then that just, I think that's it, yeah. That all just like fits in this little pocket. Which I think is so cute. I, I think it's called Constant Constantina Pocket. Been praying for all of you in the severe weather areas to be warm and safe. Yeah, it's crazy that I know all this crazy weather and so many people being outside at night. Oh my goodness, it's scary. And then this, um, I made like a little, you know, tie here. So this keeps it closed. And so this is pretty cool. So let me move this out. So this opens up right here. And then you can see there's little tags. I had a lot of fun inking these little tags um, and little ephemera pieces. And it's like a little old library card. And so the sides hold the little ephemera pieces. And right here more little tags and little ephemera. Just stuff you could put in a junk journal. That's what this mainly was for. Um, it's just like homemade ephemera. Um, but lots of stuff you can journal on and add to your journals um, to make them more personalized. Um, so there's that in those two pockets that open up. And then what's cool is I made this thing, and this actually um, comes out of the pocket. Because see right here, the little journal can actually fit in here if I wanted it to. And then we could close it up. And it could fit like that too, the little journal, um, if you wanted to. And then back here, again, a bunch of just little itty bitty, teeny tiny tags everywhere. I had a lot of fun inking the edges of these little tags that you can get, um, the little shipping or price tags. And then here's another um, library card. And there's just a bunch of little ephemera in here. And again, this is from scrapbooking. This 
such a cool little piece of paper already inked up, ready to be used in your journal. And there's even more um, thesaurus and dictionary paper in here. So there's all that. And then you got a ton, 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 ton of tags. Just a whole bunch of tags. I don't know, am I, is nobody writing or, oops, I'm sorry, I haven't been seeing, looks like a keyboard, Sierra, oh yes, the paper, thank you so much, Linda, hi, Keisha, hi, Deanna, um, but yeah, so lots of little tags, and then, so, Again, there's all these, here, I'll just take all these out so you can see. I just love making tags and putting them in pockets, right? So there's a pocket here, and then there's another pocket here, and then another pocket here. Yeah, I think these are supposed to represent, like, typewriter keys, this paper. And so... Anyways, I also made this, and this sits right in the middle. And so this is, like, actually a waterfall thing. And I got this idea from the Sock Monkey Lady. And um, it's for, like, mini albums, a mini album waterfall. But I actually turned it into, like, a tag holder rather than a waterfall. Um, so how you open it is, so you just open this first side, and then... You can see all these little tags in here. And they can also go sideways. Oops. And then you open this side. And again, more tags. You can put in here. And then you open this side more tags fun stuff and then you open this side and again more tags oh thank you so much Keisha um and stuff this again it was just is just stuff you can put in your journal um it's supposed to be like ephemera that you can put in your journal and then you open this side, and again, it just pretty much holds a bunch of tags, and you can also put, like, pictures on here, like, if you want, they're all matted, so that's nice, and it's all inked up and stuff, and just more ephemera pieces from the scrapbooking line that I used, and I thought it was really cute, and then, so that opens up like that, and then again, it closes, you just go back, forth, back, forth, back, and then forth this way. And then the last piece, I just, um, oh no, this is just something I made that I wanted to share. And so it just pretty much holds a whole bunch of ephemera. And what's really cool is this is made out of just three um, envelopes. It's so awesome. And then also on the side right here, there is, you can see there's two pockets right here and right here too. So you can see there's two pockets to put things in. So I just put in some more postcard ephemera stuff. And then, so there's that. Oops. So it's pretty much um, I, what I was thinking is I want to make these. And this was like my trial one. I want to make something like this. And have it full of ephemera, so someone could make a journal from their, from the, having everything in the folio, and then it come with like a blank journal. This one's obviously was like a prototype, um, but I just kind of, you scrapped um, all different types of paper together, 
You have so much talent. You make... Oops. I missed your comment. You have so much talent. You make the coolest things. Oh, Deanna, you are so sweet. Hi, Aaron. Oh, congratulations, Aaron. I don't know if I miss anybody, um, but I'm definitely not trying to ignore anybody. I'm just on live, and I'm just seeing the messages as they pop up. And then also, so this is just pretty much like a junk journal made out of a one of those, you know, small manila envelopes that has a you know a pocket right here and so with this pocket I went ahead and just made a little flap and then again to hold more stuff so it just has this in it not trying to get off subject but what are all those goodies under the book. Oh, I'm just showing. Are you talking about the little doilies? Oh, I'm going to talk about those in a second. Um, and some music paper. So just a whole bunch of stuff to, again, incorporate into your junk journal. And make your own ephemera, which that's kind of the plan. is So you have enough stuff to make your own ephemera, make your own envelopes or your own um you know anything you want you can make your own envelopes make your own um tea cards make your own uh oops make your own um journaling cards whatever you want to do and Envelope is the best. I think it's, I love just altering these envelopes and you can make it into a journal just by doing a little stitch. Okay, so this is just a blank journal and then I was thinking you could use all the ephemera in the folio to, you know, make the journal. So this is just, you know, blank and then you can take all the, you know, pieces in here and tuck them in like this little pocket you know and these are all coffee dyed papers and you could even glue down the sides of this and again make another pocket or even like paper clip something in like that um, you could also just use this as a little planner but it just has all the different papers in it and here's another, this is another little pocket um, with these cool little bags. I forget what they're called, like the material. Baking paper bags. Um, there's that. And so, yeah, this is just pretty much an empty little journal. And then where's something else that we can stick in here? Um, yeah, you can stick, you know, I love those little pockets. I love the little pockets that you can see through them. And you can kind of see what's in the back. And see, so you could, like, write a little secret or something. Oh, thank you, Karen. You're a sweetheart. This is another little tuck. And then again, this is another little envelope. And our little place where you can tuck something in. And use paper clips. So there's that. And so, yeah, this is just pretty much like a blank journal. And you could put like a pocket back here. And how you could easily make that, you could take something like this. And then just glue the edges and then, you know, have it as a pocket. So, yeah, that's kind of the gist of things. So I thought this would be a super cute idea. 
to make something like this and that's just kind of what I wanted to share with you guys um and then I just put a whole bunch of tags because I just sit and <laughs> I don't know why but I love distressing stuff so I'm just like sitting and distressing um and yeah and I love how it all folds up nicely and then oops let me get this under here and then you can pretty much fold it up nicely and oops get this under here and then keep it all together too but these are not these are like handmade so it's obviously not perfect right <laughs> never perfect when it's handmade Love those little tags. Me too. You can just buy. You can buy them at the dollar store or at any little store. See, this is what they look like at the dollar store. You can buy them and then just ink them up or coffee dye them, and they're awesome. And then you can just close this all up in here. And then I was gonna put that little binding thing on the front. I even made the little because all you gotta do is punch out a little oops piece of paper like that and then get some of these rads which you can get these from um from uh walmart actually walmart and And um, then just put it in the middle of the little circle. Just, I like punch a little hole first. And then you put it through the piece of paper or whatever. And then just unfold it and cover it with whatever. And then you got one of those little things. And if you put two of them and then put string around it, then you can do the little stringy thingy. Which I'm sure you all know how to do that. But that's it. Super easy peasy. You all can make this stuff. It just takes a long time, right? <laughs> that's how I feel. But anyways, I wanted to say I also have gotten a whole bunch of little baby doilies from my friend in Istanbul. Um, so I am going to these ones are tea dyed but I also have ones that are all white and I'm going to be making a bunch of bundles I because I have a whole bunch and this the this one in particular has um you do stunning paperwork and all that you make oh thank you so much Leafa love you sweetie um Thank you so much. This one has some um, appliques in it too. But I have a whole bunch of doilies. And they're all different kinds. I just love how, like, they're so small and detailed. Like, I just love these doilies from Turkey. They're just amazing. Hey, Angie. They're just so cute. So cute. Okay. Isn't that one cute? But anyways. So I just want to show these little doilies. Um, so the bundles are always about $25. And there's always a, somewhere between 40 and 50 Like usually there's... 45 to 50 in the bundle, pieces in the bundle. So I haven't really made a whole bunch yet, but um, see, look, here's another one. Aren't these so cute? These are just so cute to make um, little embellishments, do tons of little things. Look at that one. Isn't that so cute? I know. I love these little doilies. Love, love, love them. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be making up some bundles. Look at this one. So 
um, and have them for sale. And then also, I was thinking I'm going to auction off um, some of the mini albums and little junk journals that I made so far because I need to pay for some classes. <laughs> so I was thinking I'm going to make them do that. Um, yeah, they're really cute. But I love these little doilies. But anyways, so yeah, there's like a, you know, it's a pretty thick little pile that you get of them um, for just $25. So you get quite a few and you get, they're all already cut and, um, well, some more even cut them apart more and everything, of course. But is the bundle only those doilies? Yeah, it's the doilies and the appliques, but these aren't, um, I'm just saying that I'm going to soon, I'm making bundles right now, and I'm going to have bundles to sell soon, but this is just kind of an example, like this is just a tea dyed one, tea dyed bundle, um, but I just want to say that I'll have some available soon. So, I wanted to share that, and then also, um, other bundles that I'm going to have soon is crochet bundles, um, crochet trim bundles, actually, which I want to show you because I actually got a whole bunch of handmade from Istanbul crochet trims, so I'm just going to show you a little teaser. So this is handmade crochet trim. Isn't that gorgeous? Right? Completely amazing. Look at that. Look at the detail. And this is handmade in Istanbul. I know I'm probably saying it wrong. In Turkey. And... Uh, I just can't even describe these pieces. So I'm going to have bundles of handmade crochet trim as well. See, look at that. Amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I just got to get time to make them. Look at this one. So stinking amazing. Right? Oh my goodness. And what's awesome is a lot of them are white. So they can be whatever color you want. And I might even dye some pet in the pastel colors. I don't know. You know, there's so many possibilities. So, and also I have some that are different colors too. Look at this one. Oh, these are just like amazing. I guess if you're a crocheter, it's just like, I don't even know. It's just so cool to the work that goes into these. And I also have some that are in colors, but here, look at this. Like, oh my gosh, isn't that amazing? Hand crocheted. Look how thin. This is chains right here. So imagine how thin the yarn is. It's this thin. Look at That's how thin it is. And then she made this out of it. Look at this one, ladies. Oh. It's so pretty. So much detail, right? Hi, Yvonne. Yeah, I it's I just and this lady, so this is super old stuff too, because this lady has um I believe passed away and it's her granddaughter that's selling it. So see look at look how thin that is. And then she goes and makes this out of it. <laughs> but it's in such amazing condition, it's just unreal. Oops. Look at this piece. Look at that. Oh, 
It's just amazing, right? I just can't get over it. <laughs> and here's some more even. These are like pieces that you rarely find off like the edge of pillowcases and stuff. It's just uh, amazing. Um, I even have like some super unique. Look at this, but it's green. But it's super unique pattern, right? It's so pretty. And this is crazy amazing because I don't even know what this is. It's not crochet. Well, it is crochet, but it um, it's where there's gathering in it. I mean, not gathering. Gosh, I can't even talk right. Um, where there's like loops in it as well. So you can see, like, look how thin the threads are in there. Oh, really? You like green, Erin? I didn't know that. Let's see the threads. So when she's making this and crocheting it, she has to leave all these extra loops to do this. Isn't that just, like, amazing? Amazing. But, yeah. So... I'm going to have lots of bundles coming up because I saw this stuff and I was like, oh my gosh, God, I have it. And it's just out of this world. Look at this one. This one is just, look at that. Oh. And look how thin, again, how thin. Oh my gosh. I may baby. <laughs> I just love these hand crocheted trims. Look at this one. And can you imagine because like look how much there is of this one. So like what she would have done is she would have crocheted all the way for like three yards and then come back and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And it's just amazing hand crocheting um I personally love these little ones like these little dainty ones like this one it's just so sweet but anyways yeah oh yeah I want to show you this one too I want to show you them all right now but I can't look at this one oops and that one's so cute but yeah, I know, I wish I could hoard it, but it's got to go. It's got to be sold. Look at this, because that's what I purchased it to sell it. I wouldn't have been able to purchase it just to have it too expensive. But isn't that so pretty? Oh, it's amazing. Okay, but, oh yeah, and then there's this little one, too. They're just so cute, and I'm totally copying a million of these designs. I'll tell you that, because they, I just don't know how the heck someone has the time to make this stuff. Like, so much time would go into this. It's just crazy. Craziness. Um, like, this would probably take me like a month to make this much. I'm just crocheting and not working. <laughs> um, but anyways. And, oh yeah, I forgot to show you this one. Um, I love to crochet. But this little trim, see on here, this is tatting. It's a little piece of tatting. I love tatting. I'm still working on making a, um, yeah, this little piece of tatting, isn't it so sweet? But it's all 
kind of weird. So I just, it's like put together, it's supposed, I don't know, different. So I just kind of strung it around here. Hi, Lizzie. It's Lizzie. Hey, Karen. Hi, ladies. I wanted to come on real quick before I go to bed and show my new projects. If you go back to the beginning, I showed that folio that I've been working on that you guys know about. The folio. And you guys, I, I know you've already seen this one. But, um... So this one has another little cute little um, pouch that's, you know, patchwork. I love patch the patchwork look like that. And so that's what the... Look at that little flower. I, I love tatting. Tatting, tatting, tatting. My very favorite. And then that, this is so pretty. And this can actually be an envelope or a little pocket. You could stick something in it as well as, you know, the pocket that goes inside. Yep. Dream it, imagine it, create it. Make sure you guys subscribe because we will be going on there. Not sure what day, but we'll be going on there weekly, hopefully soon. And Liz is going to be going live soon. Yay. But I finished this little toilet paper mini album that I started way back when on Miss Maddie's channel, which is um, Spectrum Arts. You guys got to check her out. And I think you were there, Erin, when I finished this little book. Um, but yeah, I made this. I started making this little book with Maddie and I actually finished it um, when I was hanging out with Maddie um, last week or the week before. So, and um, Rose and Kateri and all those, and Erin and all those lovely ladies. So, this is a little, um, again, little toilet paper mini album that fits in here. Oh, you haven't finished yours yet? I know it was forever ago, right? Yeah, hopefully it's Saturday. We always plan, we have the best intentions, ladies. Ladies, we have the best intentions, but it's always the weather or something else. So, you, I keep on getting kicked off. Yeah, I know, it's so frustrating. So, you open up this cute little book. Oh, thank you so much, Erin. Yes, Erin's going to be selling some stuff. And um, I actually bought a book of a music sheet from her so I'm really excited to get that because I want to use it in my little all the little vintage stuff I do and then this is a, just a little piece of ephemera it has this little envelope on it or this little button that makes it a little envelope and then some more little ephemera like you guys know I love to make and this is a little file folder. I think this was supposed to go in here. And so that just goes into this little pocket right here. And then there's this little pocket. And this is um, a toilet paper roll. So see, you can see these are the toilet paper rolls. And... I've just decorated them. Um, yeah, but I'll go through and show it. Okay, so first page has these little, you know, little ephemera pieces. Oops, see, I have too much in here. Again, I just load these suckers up. And more ephemera. In this little envelope. And you can write to your heart's content on these little pieces of ephemera. I'm sure you can fit all your dreams and hopes and wishes on them, right? For all your journaling needs, as Jenny Miller says. And then, on each page, you can pull one of these out. And you can see it's a little photo mat. And it has sewing on it. Sewing all around the edge. And it has a little tab. 
So, and then that fits right in the little pocket. And then on the next one, this is a double bell, belly, belly band. So this is one of the little pieces of ephemera. And this is another one, and it's a little envelope. And it has a little tag in here. Another little fold out for you to journal. Oh, thank you, Keisha. I have so much fun. I love vintage and I need to put more color in my life. I totally know that. I know I do not add enough color into my projects, but I totally try to and I'm definitely going to keep on trying to use more color in my projects. And so this page actually opens up like this and this is just a little cluster that I made. You can see a little button with a bunch of little fibers behind it. And so it opens up like that. And this is a little piece of lace. And there's just some more little envelopes and ephemera. Hi, Angie. And then there's this little ephemera card. Or, I mean, sorry, photo mat with sewing around the edge. And, um, yeah, Maddie actually has a video, if you go to Spectrum Arts, where um, we're all on her channel making these together. It was really fun. I didn't finish mine then, but I finally did finish mine, and this is what it looks like now. And so there's this little pocket. Again, it's like a little piece of lace that I folded over, and then I just tucked some more little ephemera that I made, little mini ephemera, and then this is just another little tag that I made. I love this paper pad from the scrapbooking paper, and if I can, these fit in there really snug. And then this is another page, and again, you can put journaling or just photos on these. And, um, so this is another little belly band, and it is, um, elastic. So I did a little collage with one of those, see, this is, like, one of those little micro doilies, like, that I'm going to be selling in the bundles. So this is really cute to make little, um, collages like that with them. And then this one has a little button on it, and then you just pull that back. And then you can open this up, and again, this just has some little ephemera pieces in here. Oops. And then I'll close it back up. And it's just sewed around the edges. <laughs> I just love this cute stuff. So cute. And if you look a couple videos back, I have some more of these type of books I've made, and they're way more colorful. I mean, actually, a fairy one and stuff. And so this is another little um, photo mat. And then again, this is another pocket page where I just put in, again, little fake ephemera and journaling cards and all that fun stuff. And then I left this page blank because I like the pink little butterfly. Who, oh, Angie. I don't know. And then this is another little piece here. Oh, there she is. And so, and then this one is another little grouping of fibers and a cute button and it opens and then you just open this up and you can put in a little hidden picture or something in here so super cute and then this one opens or this is another um, belly band that is elastic so you can even stick more stuff in here but this has a little um please Give Sierra a thumbs up. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lizzie. Love you so much. Love you all so much. Thank you so much. This is a little heart tag that I made out of canvas. 
Um, and I found it, and I decided to just stick it in here. And then again, here's another little, um, looks like dictionary page, which is funny because it has like wreckage, wrecker, wrench, res, wrestle, wrestling, wretch, wretched, <laughs> wreath, wreck. I'm a wreck, a wreckage, a wrecker. I wreck everything, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. I make everything turn into like um, tattered junk, right? <laughs> oh, there she is. That's Spectrum Arts right there. That's Miss Maddie. Make sure to subscribe to her and go check out her channel if you want to see when we made these, all these little toilet paper albums. Because we made them and started them and she has a tutorial on how to build them on her channel. So definitely go check it out. <clears throat> Miss Maddie got me addicted to making all these little albums. And she's an amazing crafter. And she does, um, what did you do? <laughs> Nothing, just telling people how amazing you are. And she does a live show every Sunday, so definitely get on her channel and hit the bell. You want to check her out. Here's another photo, Matt. Um, but yeah, I just have loved making these little guys. And here's some more little baby ephemera, another little envelope. Yep, and it looks like it has another little envelope in it. So I'm just having fun making the little baby ephemera. And this is a little pocket. Oops. Erin, are you okay? It's cold where you are. I know. I hope you all are staying warm. That was freaky. I hopped on here. Heard. Here she is. <laughs> okay. Yep, I was talking about you because we, we, you have a really cool channel and I want them to go check it out. And then also we um, started these toilet paper albums on your channel. Um, and then there's another little flower. And then again, this is just a little doily, another little miniature doily, like the little doilies that I'm going to um, make little doily kits or not kits but bundles with but all I did was take the doily and then I folded it over and then I put it on the corner of the page and then what I did was I made a little pocket for this little little tchotchke little piece in here to go in and that is where it goes. And I'll show you the paper I used in just a second. You can actually get it at Joann's. Here's another little envelope. And just more little tags and ephemera and all that fun stuff. But yes, I hope you all are staying warm and staying safe. I know the weather's been crazy. Take, oh, yes, please tell Madison I said hi if she's still awake. She's probably sleeping. I know I'm about to go to bed right after this. I'm dead to the bones here. I'm so dang tired. But how this closes is you just tie it up. And um, I love the double bows. So I just tie her up. And then they put her a bow on her like this. Okay, and then I just do another bow, and it makes it look like a double bow. Yeah, I bet she's zonked. I know I would be. I know I am about to just pass out, because I have to wake up at 4 a.m. to go to work. Work sucks, ladies, I tell you. I'm sure a whole bunch of you know, and if you're retired, you know. I'm trying to get this. I knotted this somehow. But, oops, there we go. Um, Oopsie daisy, what did I do here? But yeah, so I just wanted to come on and share the folio and then this other little um, 
mini album that I have completed. And I hope that it inspires you. And I hope you all like it. And um, I hope you all have a beautiful evening. Um, full of fun, love, family, and friends. And just enjoy life. And, oops, sorry, I'm trying to not this but yeah I'm glad that I got to come on and I hope that I can come on more often and I'm going to try and yeah definitely make sure you subscribe to Lizzie um I don't know what I'm doing or what happened here I must have oh here it is there it is like what am I doing <laughs> I'm going to have to go and clean tomorrow. Yes, cleaning, cleans, cleaning's always fun, right? Okay, so anyways, yeah, that's the front. Hey, Kateri. But I was just showing the book that I finished while I was on with you ladies um, the other night. So, and it fits perfectly in this little envelope. And then I also showed the, um, whatever, whatever it's called, uh, the folio I made. If you rewind to the beginning, I made this folio, which is really cute. So, anyways, ladies, I'm going to hop off. Yes, miss you all, too, so much. And I hope I can come on more often and do some live work. Um, I hope to inspire and um, create and just love hanging out with you ladies. So I just want to come on and show those my folio. I'm not going to wear it right now. We clean for people that can't do it for themselves. Oh, um, well, that's super sweet of you, Angie. That's a really awesome but, um, yeah, my folio that I showed is in the in the beginning. It's super cool. If you guys want to check it out. And it has a little journal. Um, but, yes, I will hopefully see you guys soon. And I hope you all have a lovely day or lovely evening. And I hope you have a lovely day tomorrow. And I just want to say good night. Um, much love. And um, I will see you all soon. Hugs and loves, ladies. Good night. Bye.